happy Thursday, everybody. I know you probably didn't expect to see me, but guess what? I'm back. I had a few minutes off, so like, yes, I want to do it today. But first, where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, aka First Winners Alive, BK80 People's Champion. And today, I am bringing you Bree with the T. Okay, so first up on the list today is your boy, Takashi69. So, apparently, uh, Takashi 69 got sentenced to uh, two years for flipping on other gang members. But he's already served 13 months in jail, so that means he only has to serve a year. And he apologized for misrepresenting himself. So, uh, I guess whatever, the involvement that he claimed to have wasn't as big as he portrayed it to be. Probably wasn't as big as what he what he said it was, but they like you know something, and they they got what they want, and he, and he wasn't no threat, cause hey, brother, don't, hey, I don't know how involved he was, but they obviously don't believe he was as involved as he says he was, but they knew he knew something, so they just squeezed him. That's it. They put all their time over your head, and then see what happens. And that's gonna be interesting. That's just gonna be interesting, like how you hear like the the later the story, like life after. Yeah. Or whatever. You Probably get what told I'm about all the stuff that he wasn't involved in, which was a lot. But he had knowledge of it. But I'm just saying, wouldn't you be in some type of witness protection thing? Like, if you flipping on... You would probably want to be, but he probably going to act like... You know, well, he's the king of New York, though, so nobody never tried him yet. Okay. Know what he said? That's what he said. Here's what it is. So, next up on the list, we have... um, So... At first, uh, made a post about an AI that says AI is going to be producing rap next. So, apparently an AI has created this song here. Someone else singing it, but an AI created that one. Crazy, right? Yeah. And so, you know what? AI can produce as much rap as they want to, but you know what? It's not going to have anything over real Bars. Yeah, like, like, like money ball like Steve Kirk No, back no, no, no. no. Like, I'm uh, ready to roll oh whenever God, you call. It. Be by the side. Cut Together we can be like Bonnie mic. and Clyde Cut doing it right. Mic. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming at you with the fresh 16. <laughs> well, she always trying to drop that weak ass, lame ass, same ass. Listen, on when that song go high, y'all gonna say that was pretty easy song. You heard yeah. it first. Yeah. But anyway. How do y'all think? Do y'all think AI could really produce that stuff? I mean, it probably already producing Amigos. I mean, or all this mumble rap. It probably is responsible I'm for mumble rap. I'm ready to roll call. Be by your side like Bonnie and Clyde, right? Okay. Yeah, we're going to keep on going. <laughs> but uh, I was going to say something about that real fast. Uh -huh. I'm like, it's not hard to believe because, look, we already got CGI in yeah. movies. Uh, stuff like you know you got people that pass on them passed away but they're being brought back into movies yeah they got, they got AI that can write um they got AI that can write yeah. news articles and all this stuff so I got something to say about that but we'll talk about that like but that's on different though that's not AI that's like that's CGI well I'm just saying technology oh technology itself yeah, yeah technology course. itself so what y'all think about that anyway next thing we have so if you were to uh Star Wars comes out tonight. So that's why this is one of those things. Oh, oh, name something you could say doing Star Wars, Andy. Brown chicken cow cow. Is it brown chicken cow cow? It's probably brown chicken bow bow, but yeah. I'm going to go for brown chicken cow cow. Right. So what would you say? Give in to the dark side. I know what you could say. Check out this lightsaber. No, nah, nah, that's kind of creepy. I'll go say, Bree, I am your father. Yeah, somebody but said that, that on was, here, but that's, that's kind of whack. I think is this is the best one right here. At this speed, do you think you'll be able to pull out in time? <laughs> <laughs> what? At this speed, you think you'll be able to pull out in time? I got it. Light speed. Light speed. I guess. Whatever. I don't, I don't know. You can't think of nothing because you don't. You're oh, not a movie quote uh, person. I, 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 I am not a movie quote person, but it could be. <laughs> May the force be with you. Yeah, that's what a lot of people say, too. Or uh, use the force. Uh, one person even said the, the Yoda one. He was like, uh, judge me by my size, do you? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, so that was cool. And, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, that's it? And okay, that's so next we have on here. If you had to pick a couple that you could hang out 
for one day just to kick it with, kick it up with, just hang out with the entire day, who will it be? Will it be Will Smith and Jada? Yeah, we or... decided on two. We just decided on two couples that we thought it would be cool. To you know, it's compare, contrast, whatever. But go ahead. I mean, you can take over it. <laughs> so we got Will and Jada, and we have uh, Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard. Yeah. Now, let me tell you what I think about this, right? I love me some Will Smith. I do love Jada also. But it's almost like, I feel like with Will and Jada, Will is the funny one, and Jada's a little more serious. But with Dax Shepard and Kristen Bell, both of them are hilarious. Yeah, both of them idiots. So you could probably yeah. just have fun and just laugh. Yeah, just like, whatever. and then like with uh, going back to like Will Smith and um, oh my gosh. Okay, so let me tell you about a story between uh, Kristen Bell, Dax Shepard, and Beyonce and Jay Z. So apparently they was at this dinner. Kristen Bell and her husband had to sit across from Beyonce and Jay Z. So Kristen Bell is like, you know, super excited because you know she's a huge fan or whatever so she's telling her husband that you know play it cool this is like beyonce and jay-z you know we want to make sure we get invites to places or whatnot so dax is sitting next to jay-z and he's telling jay-z how he's a big fan and then he start rapping <laughs> all of his songs like that from early on yeah. and she's giving him that look like stop you didn't want to think that we're weird but he was like he just kept going in and jay-z just had that awkward look on his face so they was like yeah we just messed up our opportunity for any other future invites which is but, why people would say you know you'll probably want to hang out with will and jada or them too but i don't think anybody's trying to hang out with beyonce and jay-z are y'all y'all let me know that no, in the comments. I, I don't i don't know i think because like in the limelight or whatever they're so serious you know yeah, what i mean you don't really as, they come off i'm gonna be running they come off as very elitist and nobody don't want to be around I, I don't even think it, i wouldn't even say elitist I, I, I would say very private very private and probably don't want you know they, they very secretive about everything they do they're very private and some people don't like you know, yeah, being private you know. and being elitist—that's two different things, though. They come off as elitist to me, so that's that's just me, though. Oh no, we agree to disagree on that one. That's fine. But that's, yeah. that's what life is about. I say they come off as elitist to me, not to you. I said that's where we will agree to disagree. Outstanding. And so, like you know, like you always got one funny person, <laughs> and then you got someone that's not. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Do some squats. But anyway, wow. that's an insider. But anyway, so drop it down below. Who would you like to hang out with? And what is a Star Wars movie quote that you could say while doing that brown chicken cow cow? Oh yeah. And this right here, just I just just a meme of the day. I just thought this was funny. It's like creeper van. Bitch! You better watch out for your for your priests, teachers, doctors, sports trainers. I don't want anything to do with them damn kids. Oh wow. I just thought that was funny. Oh wow. You gotta have you gotta have the memes in here, man. All anyway, right, get out my anyway, seat, man. That's your brief with the tea. I'm out. Yeah, but see, you done already took up like eight minutes, man, with your damn slow ass talking. Just like uh Milo Walker. We're gonna be Milo Walker. We're gonna be dead. Anyway, man, y'all already know what time it is. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another with another video. I got like four minutes because she just took up all my time. Like I told her, y'all if did y'all see Jumanji and see what dudes like Milo, we gonna you gonna yo yo talking slow as hell gonna be the death of us. That's how I felt in this segment. That's how you was reading yesterday. But anyway, I know that's how I was reading yesterday. Shut up! Hey, add it to the couples that you might want to hang out with for a day. Bree Easy and Jay Easy. If you want to take that one, you can take that one too. Because we fun as hell. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But anyway, check it out. Bear the Beast. I swear I love this league. I really can't believe y'all let me in. Hey, it's just like what we say. You let me in. I'm kicking the dough down. Speaking of which. That joint. Fine. You want one? Or if you want anything like this, we got the Mavs ones coming up. Mavs ones coming up next. Hit me up down in the comments. I mean, on Instagram or Twitter or something, man. I got you. Check it out, though. Bear says, becoming the finals MVP as a rookie just isn't enough. I mean, just isn't enough to satisfy Bear the Beast uh, underdog mentality. Read the exclusive interview. We're not going to read the whole interview, man, but we real look at this, the picture where it says, this is one of the quotes from the interview. When it's done, I want to be known as the greatest 2K player. I don't know if he meant of all time or any of that stuff right there, but right now, hey, he said on his channel, hey, I feel like I'm the GOAT. And, uh, you know, 
If you want to debate it, if you want to say something about it, you know, hey, we can debate it. We can have a uh, we can have a good debate and all that good stuff, and and we can figure it out, man. But you let me know what y'all think. Y'all think Bass the best player right now? I think he's probably one of the best guards, uh, comp guards right now. Uh, and it's hard to argue with because he has won the championship. He did win the finals MVP. Um, you know, won the first game. I think they won the first game. Got routed. The second, the the the, the middle th two. And then they won the last two or something like that. But it was something like that. But he put on, he had an awesome performance. And it was obvious that he was the reason that they won that. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I think he's a good player. Hell of a dude. Cool guy. All that stuff. And he's really somebody that I've seen that has come in, kicked the door down. He's the only, I'm going to be real. He's like one of the only people I've seen that has come in, kicked the door down, and really made the most of his time in the 2K League as far as now. Now, he got to he gotta transition that to YouTube. He's got it with the streaming and stuff, but he got to transition that to YouTube and monetize himself in different, different ways. But as far as his social media and all that good stuff, I feel like he's one of the only people that has really taken the, taken full advantage of what it is. And it could be because he's in the limelight and he was the MVP and stuff like that. He got to go to China and all that stuff. So it could be because of that. But hey, if you ain't good, then you can't get the opportunities to take advantage of. So you know it is what it is. Up next, Po' Boy Sin, speaking of good as hell, people. Hey, look here, man. I'm going to tell y'all one thing. Sin be putting these bills out and people be thinking them bills is, is, is fire. And the bills are fire. But you gotta be able to play like Sin. And you gotta have them 10 extra badges in each category that he got. If you ain't got his skill or them 10 extra badges, your guy ain't gonna do what he can do. I'm just gonna tell you right there. That, 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 that uh, two-way, three-level facilitator that he got, why? Hey, he be killing with it. But you ain't gonna kill like that because you're not gonna have enough badges to have dimer handles for days and all that stuff like that. So I'm just letting y'all know. And plus, you ain't like that. Seeing a whole different animal in this bitch. He a whole different animal. The dude be sitting up here reading his chat, not paying attention, just doing a combination, killing folks. Almost like T. Mizzle. But anyway, check it out, man. Uh, the new backpacks in the store, man. And uh, what do y'all think about these new backpacks? What? Do, how do y'all feel about them? Like uh, what somebody said, what T said, you know, we were talking about people were complaining so much about you had to be, what, Superstar 2 or Superstar 3 or something to get the backpacks. So what they ended up doing was if you, you can't even buy the packs that include the backpacks, if you're not a high level anymore. To me, that's kind of weird, but hey, you know, it is what it is. 2K gonna do what they can do. People complain enough, and uh, you listen. You talk enough, and you complain enough, and you make it an issue enough, and they will listen with the things that they can do. Stay woke. That's why YouTubers get on here and bitch about the game and complain about the things that make absolutely no sense in the game, because we know that they can't, they won't know what to change, if we don't tell them what to change. But anyway, speaking of which, up next we got the My Team. Our latest packs are here. And it looks like they got, uh what, Duncan, uh, Tim Duncan, uh, uh, Derrick Rose, Tim Duncan, Wilt Chamberlain, John Stockton, uh, Kobe, Luka Donitz, Paul George, and Melo. Ooh, I don't play no My Team. But if I did, y'all think I should start playing My Team? If I did, I'd be excited for this pack, man. I don't know if I would uh really get nothing or really do nothing, but you know, it is what it is. But y'all let me know. Yo, I was sitting there thinking about uh thinking about how people like so somebody had said something silly the other day. Uh somebody on Reddit was like, like Mike Jordan ain't that good because he was playing against people that's like like math teachers and people like that. Cause Jeff Warner said, you know, he's a college professor now. He teaches math. Let me tell you something, little boy. Jeff Warner said could go to any gym in America right now and score all the points. And there will be nothing you can do to stop it. Right now, Jeff on the got to be every bit of what, 54? Something like that? At least, Horn the, hey, Jeff Horn will go to any gym in America. Jeff Horn 56 years old. 6'4", well, they said, they said 6'4", but you know, hey, I think he was like 6'3", 6 6 something like that. So he was 6'4", 6'4", probably 185 pounds. He can go to any gym in America right now any league, any team, and probably put up 50, easily. And he'll score that he want to. You can't stay in front of him. You wouldn't be able to stay in front of him. You wouldn't be able to block his shot. You're not gonna be able to stop him from shooting half court, all that stuff. Man, let me tell y'all a quick story, man. I was at the gym one day, and uh, my Muab Abdul Raouf was in there. I had a, I took a picture with him or whatever. And uh, if you see my Instagram, y'all need to follow me on Instagram because y'all see stuff like that. And um, this was before the big three. And uh, just like two or three years ago, before the big three. Um, he came out, and we were playing 
and uh, they, they were playing 21 on the court. I'm just walking in, and dude hit this. He hit his shot, and he was like 19. D up, old head. What? Okay, so dude, take his free throw to try, but you can't end the game on a free throw. That's how we play it anyway. You got to score. So, um, so the dude takes his shot, misses. Mamu take the ball, go to half court, and proceeds to just rain. Uh, uh, uh. Didn't miss a shot. Won the game 21 to, to that guy's 19. Now, listen to me. This is before the big three now. So this lets you know that these guys are so much better than we could ever imagine. It's light years away. So, like, you can't disrespect people like that. All I'm saying is Jeff Hornacek was a walking bucket, bro. Like, he got buckets. And that's what, this ain't nothing that I'm looking at. You can go look up all the stats you want to. I saw him with my own eyes putting up buckets with Stockton them alone. But, hey, I done talked too long about that stuff, man, you know. Because people because people love to disrespect the past, but if you didn't see it, how could you really disrespect the past? That's why I don't really speak on people like Oscar Robinson and stuff. Like, I didn't see it. So I will tell you, I can't speak to that. I'm not going to look at stats and be like, you know, there was no real film, but that's film on Hornacek and all them guys back then. Well, Jordan wasn't playing against no slouches. But anyway, that's a, that's a thing for another day. LeBron still the GOAT uh, because of what he do outside the game, too. Anyway, quick reminder. Uh, quick reminder of where we are right now and uh, get ready for those interviews. So here we go right here. Play evaluations on the ninth. Uh, top top 170, 176 identified. Uh, video interviews will be conducted on the 18th, which was, which was yesterday. And conditional offers will be made on January the 13th to the top 150. So check it out. If you made the top 176, there's only, you got to be better than 25 people, right? So you stand a good damn chance. I don't know if my guy Sid 6 7 got in, man. Y'all let me know. Because it's just like, it's crazy, right, that what they identify 176, if you're breaking in that, you know you, you, you did pretty well. You got to. So, you know, hey, Godspeed to all the people that are in that, man. Hope you guys make it. And then, uh, you know, it just it just says the uh, emails are out, combined, and uh, uh, for those who are participating in the combine and are moving on to the interview stage, those who have not received, I mean, have not advanced, also will be notified. We said, we talked about that on yesterday. And like I said, though, if you made it to the league, if anybody that you know made it, man, you know, shout them out, big them up, all this stuff. Um, and that's pretty much all I got for y'all today, man. Bridget took all my time up, but I'm sorry about that. But y'all let me know who y'all want to hang with, man. Jaden Will or goddamn Dax and Kristen Bell. Damn it, I say Jaden Will. Or Or Dax and Kristen Bell. Or hell, just, just if you want to, or just if it's depending, if you just want to have fun, you hang out with them. If you don't, you don't want to have, do anybody really want to hang out with Beyonce and Jay-Z? Y'all let me know. Do they come off as kind of elitist to y'all and you really wouldn't want to hang out with them? Or, or is it just all in my head? It could be all in my head. Or jay Easy and Breezy because, hey, we you know, we, we ain't no real Hollywood couple, but we play one on TV on our own weak-ass show that we put up. But, uh, you know, anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, last but not least, if you don't do nothing else, man, if you're on Xbox, Look, I'm gonna tell my kids this is this. I'm gonna tell my kids this was Jay Z. But anyway, um, check it out, man. If y'all don't do nothing else, go check out the Shake Pack. If you're on Xbox, it only costs you $9.99. You're gonna get 45,000 VC, six skill boosts, um, you know, per category and 15 total Gatorade items. So go check that out. And uh, I'm out of here till next time. It's your boy Jay Z, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Gosh, speak. <laughs>